wait a second. It's Saturday! That means no school! What day is it? It's Saturday! That means no school! And that means that I get to watch cartoons tonight. Oz, let's go have some snow cones. And let's go play with Legos! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Savannah, it's Saturday! And you guys know what that means. Sugar! Legos! No! Chores! Chores? No way! I'm not doing chores today. Actually, you are. Mom put me in charge of you guys getting your chores done. And if you get a chore done, you get a sticker! Can we just play with the stickers instead of doing the chores? If you want a sticker, you do the chore. That's how it works. Besides, you only have six chores to do. Fine. I want that unicorn one. Come on, Az, let's go brush our teeth. Maybe she'll let me choose my sticker. Maybe in mint. That's my least favorite kind. Maybe if I don't use the toothpaste, they won't know. <laughs> Five minutes later. Whoa! You hung it up! Did you guys brush your teeth? Yes, I did. Good job! I'll put up your sticker. Oh, because I flossed, can I choose out my own sticker? That's a great idea. They're back there on the table. Now, I'm gonna choose... I'll do this one, because you can clean off all the food that you eat from your teeth when you brush them. Here you go. Thank you. I'm next. Ew. 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 You did not brush your teeth. No sticker for you. Now go make your bed. Try harder this time. But I don't like mint toothpaste. I want bubblegum toothpaste like Lizzie. Well, if you want bubblegum toothpaste, ask mom to buy you some. But if you don't use any toothpaste, your teeth are gonna hurt and then fall out. I don't want that. I'm gonna go make my bed maybe brush my teeth again. <laughs> this time, I'm gonna do it correctly. Pillow, pillow, and finishing touch. Pillow, all done. Now, I'm going to get my sticker. Let's see, let's put this pillow up. And this one. And a blanket. Perfect. Let's go get Savannah. Savannah, come look at my bed. Let's see. Ta-da. And no cheats. Wow, Ed, this looks so good. Go pick out a sticker. Woo. Lizzie, are you finished with your bed? Yeah, come check. Ta-da. Um, Lizzie, that's not dead right. You don't get a sticker. Try again, please. Which one should I choose? Number one, number two, or number three? Hmm. <gasps> number one. Perfect, Asbury. You chose the pterodactyl. Hadley, Lizzie does not get a sticker. Alrighty, everybody needs to go get ready for the day. You can't stay in your pajamas all day long. Plus, Lizzie's hair is really crazy. Time to get dressed. Perfect. Now it's time to get dressed. Perfect, my favorite outfit. Now let's get dressed. I'm all in my Saturday clothes and now I need to brush my hair. Ta-da! Wait a second. Something doesn't feel right. Oh, this is my swimsuit. Better go change into real shorts. Perfect, now let's go. Ta-da! I'm all ready for the day. Good job, Lizzie. You look great. Go pick a sticker. Okay. Perfect. This time I'm gonna have the unicorn. Here, Savannah. Thank you. Now on to the living room. You're halfway done. Ta-da! All ready. Woo! Wait. I didn't 
do my hair. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's only a mohawk. Alrighty! Good job, Ez! Your outfit looks great! But your hair is not done. It's okay. It's short enough to not do it. Can I have my sticker now? Sorry, Ez. You only got halfway done. So if you wanted your sticker, I'd have to cut it in half. I do not want that. I'll just work harder on the dishes, okay? All right, sounds good. <sighs> Lizzie has two stickers, and I only have one sticker. And she's definitely gonna get another one on living room, cause look, she's already cleaning the living room. <laughs> I have an idea. So I think I should deserve a sticker. What? Yes! Oh. Third time's a charm. Oh. It only works when you actually do the chore. And Lizzie's already done with the living room. Duh. I have a better idea. Never get a sticker now. Off to the dishes. Zana, I'm done at the living room. Come check. Oh, okay. What? What happened? Lizzie, this is not done. You don't get a sticker for this. But I, I cleaned this up. I promise. I did. I, I don't know what happened. The pillows were all fluffed and the papers were all put away. Lizzie, this is just like how you made your bed. Now you get extra chores. Savannah, I promised I cleaned this up. I, I don't know what happened. Lizzie, you have to clean this up and you have to sweep up in here afterwards as an extra chore. Remember, lying is never the right answer. You don't get any stickers now. Savannah, I just... <sighs> oh no, what have I done? I really should go finish the dishes so I can get my sticker. But I feel really bad for Lizzie. Oh, hi Lizzie. Hi Az. What are you doing? Why do you have the broom? Well, I didn't get my sticker today. And now I have to do extra chores because I cleaned up the living room and then someone came and wrecked it, so I had to clean it up again and now I have to sweep it. Oh, um, that's really sad. I'm so sorry. Well, there's no need to be sorry. There's nothing you can do, so. Thanks, so I gotta go sweep the living room. Oh, but there is something I can do. I finished the dishes, but I don't deserve a sticker because after all that I did to Lizzie, I'm going to go tell Savannah. Savannah, Lizzie shouldn't be doing extra work because I messed up the living room and she cleaned it up and then I messed it up and she should have my sticker and I should be the one who's doing extra work in. Whoa. Whoa, what? I don't understand a single word you just said. I'm the one who messed up the living room after Lizzie cleaned it. Oh, so I know what you were saying. Lizzie, stop that cleaning! Wait, what? Lizzie, I'm sorry. You told me that you didn't mess up the living room and I didn't believe you. I should have believed you. Actually, I should be the one who's sorry because I messed up the living room after you cleaned it up and because I was jealous that you had more stickers than me. So I don't have to do extra chores anymore? No way you don't need to. All you have to do is your homework. 
I already got it done yesterday. That means you get two stickers, plus you get extra chores, you get three more stickers. Come on, let's go pick them out. Yes! I got it! Hmm, for living room, I'll have this sticker, cause he's kind of just chilling in his living room. And for homework, I'll do this one, because he's showing his homework. And for being all done with all my chores, I'm gonna do best day ever. Come on guys. Lizzie, since you got all your chores done, you'll be able to put on the sticker without it falling off. Oh, that's how it works. All right, we put him right here. Next is the cute narwhal. Perfect. Here you go, Lizzie. You deserve this. Thank you, Az, for telling the truth. Now let's put on the sticker. Perfect. You were right. As honesty is always the right answer. And since you did the dishes and your homework, I'll give you all three. Woo! I'm going to pick mine out. Perfect. These three. <laughs> homework narwhal, just like Lizzie's. And today's the best day ever, because I learned never to cheat and to tell the truth. pink hair and her fuzzy coat. I love that. Ah, speaking of warm coats, I think I need one right now. Ooh, look at my nice cool lip gloss. The only one I never used really is the purple because it has flames on it. Because cold is better. And that's why it's nice and chilly in here. Did you hear that? Savannah likes cold and I like warm. I need to go sneak away to change the temperature. Where are you going? Um, I just, uh, gotta go check on a few things. I'll be right back. Okay. <gasps> 65 degrees? That's freezing. I'll fix that. Perfect, nice and warm. One thing, it's all fixed now. Let's move on. Okay, I hope it went well. Do you like my lip gloss? Oh, nice and cool. I think I choose red, not blue, but that's okay. Well, gotta get back to my doll. Well, all done with that. Hey, Lizzie. Yeah? Is it just me or is it getting hot in here? Hot? No, I don't know what you're talking about. For me, it's perfectly fine. Of course she thinks it's fine. She loves hot and she thinks it's better than cold. I'm gonna go take a look at the temperature. Where are you off to? Bonk. Oh, just to go find a way to cool down. <gasps> cool off? Oh no, I hope she doesn't turn the temperature down. Set to 80? Who could have done that? I bet it was Lizzie. She came out here and then after she came back in, it was warm. Well, I'm gonna fix this and hope she doesn't do it again. Oh, that's better. <gasps> Did you change the temperature gauge? Yeah, cause you set it to 80, and it's way too hot. Because you set it to 65 first, and that was so cold, so I set it to 80, cause that was nice for me. You don't ever understand my love for warm. Well, you don't understand my love for cold. <sighs> we'll never see eye to eye. I'm going to bed. Good night, Lizzie. Too, with my cozy blanket. Mm, ice cream, snow cones. Wait a second. I was just dreaming that I liked cold, but I don't. I like the warm. I need to go take a warm shower. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so hot. Why did I sleep with a blanket? I never sleep with a blanket. Why am I in Lizzie's bed? Why am I wearing Lizzie's shirt? It's okay, I just need to go get a cold drink of water and this is probably just a dream. No, let's wait for that to warm up. Why am I in Savannah's shirt? Lizzie? Something 
something is seriously wrong. There sure is! Why do you look like me? Cause you look like me! What? Trust me, look at yourself. I mean, myself. <gasps> oh no! I'm so short! That's all you care about? That you're, I mean, I'm short? What about the fact that we switched bodies? That too, but I'm tiny. We need to figure out a way to switch back. But until then, don't put any cold in my body. Okay, deal. Only if you don't put hot in my body. Oh, fine. Let's eat breakfast, I'm hungry. What should I eat that's cold? I guess an apple's a good breakfast, right? It's really cold. Oh, can we share? I love cold apples. No way! I don't want anything cold in my body. Remember our deal? Fine. But what am I supposed to eat then? I know just the thing. <laughs> Yummy apple cider. Just pour this in a cup of hot water and it'll be all done. It's so delicious. I wish I could have it. <sighs> I wish I could have some of that red apple. I bet it's so cold. But rules are rules. Give me the apple cider. One minute. I have to cut the apple up because of Savannah's braces. Luckily, I just got braces too, so this isn't a new thing for me. Perfect! Oh wow, I expected this to be a lot hotter. really cold, but I really like it today. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, it's good for a warm drink, I guess. And this is pretty good for being a cold apple, but I'd still much rather have that cider. I'm done with breakfast, so I'm gonna go hang it out in our room. Okay. I'm almost done with my apple cider, but I'm still hungry. Okay. What's something that I need to make for breakfast? It has to be warm and delicious. <gasps> Cookies sound great, let's do it. It's really cold and I can't eat anything to warm me up. But Savannah never said I couldn't wear anything to warm me up. I have these fuzzy socks and they're blue, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Meanwhile. So, I'm still kind of getting used to this whole heat thing. I cooked them a little too much and they crumbled. I'm sure they'll still taste fine, but I've decided I'm gonna share these cookies with Lizzie because she loves warm cookies and I think she deserves some. some chocolate chip cookies. You wanna share them? Is this some kind of joke? If they're hot, I can't have them. And if they're cold, you can't have them. What? No, I'm just saying it. I'm kind of warming up to the warm. <laughs> Get it? Well, and I knew you love, love cookies. So I made some for you. Wow, thank you, Savannah. You're welcome, Lizzie. Let's dig in. Lizzie, being you for a day has taught me that I like hot and cold. I don't just like hot. You're right, Lizzie. We definitely should not just pick sides like hot or cold. We should definitely come together and compromise. I have an idea. Since it used to be hot versus cold, let's have a hot and cold party. Good idea. And since it's a party, we have to dress up. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll dress in red, you dress in blue. Now let's get this party started. Three, two, one. What? Wow. Oh, Savannah, you're packing your body. You're packing your body. Whoa. This is awesome. Now let's really get the party started. Three, two, one. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Popcorn and snow cones, warm and cold. The perfect mix. Yes. Now let's get started.
Here's your nice warm popcorn. Thank you. No, thank you. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Wait, I can't make my bed and be in my bed. I need to go change the thermostat. 67, that's so cold. We need it warmer. There we go. Now I can go finish my bed. This is my balloons. No, it is not. Oh, it is hot. It feels like I'm on fire. I've got to go turn down the temperature. <laughs> Warmer. It's getting colder. I have to go make it way warmer. Oh, it's so cold. Lizzie, what is she doing? Lizzie, don't touch that. Why not? It's freezing. I know. It feels great. That's how it's supposed to be. No, warm is a lot better. No, cold is a lot better. I challenge you to change my mind that cold is better. But. I think I can change your mind that hot is better. Okay, challenge accepted. Perfect, let's start with breakfast. Good, huh, Lizzie? No way. Cold milk makes cereal soggy. Those would be better without milk and after they've been in the microwave. You haven't convinced me, Lizzie. Cold is better. Well, you still haven't proved that cold is better. I still choose warm. <gasps> I know what she would like. Ice cold milk again. Chocolate milk. Lizzie, look what I have. Fresh chocolate milk. Mm, chocolate milk, you say, huh? Yep, chocolate milk. I'm getting her. Oh, what's so great about chocolate milk? Because it's freezing cold, very delicious, and you can blow bubbles. I think I like Hot chocolate. What? No! Yep, I prefer hot chocolate over chocolate milk. I was so close. Hot is definitely better than cold. Wait for it to cool down. Ooh, that's why you use whipped cream. Now it's cooled down and creamy. That does look pretty good, but I like chocolate milk more. All right, I guess we haven't been able to convince each other yet. The challenge is still going. Lizzie, I'm gonna convince you on the end of the day. 
I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> Wait a second. How is he having a hot bath when he loves cold? I gotta go change some temperature. Yeah, it's hot! There, let's see if he'll still choose cold over warm. I think I need a few more ducks. <laughs> this is my handful. Aw oh, man, it's not gonna fit. Nice warm bath, here I come. Freezing cold bath! I need to turn it warm! A few minutes later. I guess warm is better than cold when it's in the bath. Kevin said being warm is better when it's in the bath. Yes! I knew I'd convince him. Now it's time for my favorite drink, because I'm kind of thirsty. Frozen apple juice. I love frozen apple juice so much that I have two. This snow cone is. Do you want some? That does look pretty good. No, 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 no. I like warm better. You sure you don't want to try my popcorn? It's extra buttery. Mm, it does smell pretty good. But no, I'm sticking with cold. A few minutes later. Hey, Lizzie. Uh, sorry. What were you gonna say? Uh, you get to go first. Red and warm is always like first, and so like uh, blue goes first. Okay. Well, um, I think I want some popcorn. I don't really know how to say this, but can I have a snow cone? Yes, you can. Okay, let's go. Can it? Red hot and blue cold equals purple. I love it because we're sharing. Shining. After our challenge today, I learned that even though we like have our differences, we can still come together and have a good time. I agree. Thanks for saying that. You're welcome, Canyon. It's almost Valentine's Day, and I decided I'm gonna ask Az to be my Valentine. Cause I love my brother, and he's one of my best friends. Az likes cold more than
little bit more. So I decided to wear a cool color and also all his gifts are gonna be blue. Hey Lizzie, what's that? Uh, nothing. Why do you have a poppet behind your back? It's a valentine for, for not you, it's for someone else, but you're not my valentine, so it's not for you, and uh, it's not for you because we're both opposites, and you like cold, and I like warm, and we're total opposites. We're not really like each other very much, and yeah. Okay, so it's not for me? Nope, uh, I gotta go, see you later. What was that about? Lizzie was acting so weird. <gasps> Maybe it was for me, but she was just trying to cover it up. If she's getting me a valentine, then I've got to get her a valentine that's even better. Okay, I saw his gift. I don't know if he knows he's my valentine or not, but I have another one to replace it, just in case. A Paw Patrol Crystal Chase Pez head. He loves Paw Patrol. And again, it's blue, and his three favorite flavors is cotton candy, cherry, and lemon. He'll love it. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Az. Don't follow me. That's a weird thing to say. Let's follow him. This will be the perfect Valentine for Lizzie. <gasps> He's giving me a Valentine gift. It's a Pez. She's going to absolutely love it. It's the love bear. He got me a pez head. I can't get him a pez head. I need to find something better. Time to wrap it! Woo! Oh, he got the same gift as me. Now I don't know what to get him. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, Lizzie, hi. Oh, uh, oh. Oh, hi, Az. Uh, uh, um, hi, what are, what are you doing? Oh, uh, uh just, just decorating some Valentine's Day cookies because they're warm and like, you know, I wouldn't give anything cold to my Valentine. I mean, why would you do that? Uh, what's my direct? Oh, uh, it's just my Valentine. It's not anything warm because cold is better than warm. Oh, uh, yeah, no, uh, warm is better than cold, definitely. Um, is that what you're saying? I wasn't really listening. Uh, I need to go back to decorating cookies. Uh, Bye, I mean, you were leaving, right? Bye. Yep, I'm on my way. Bye. Oh no. I saw a Pez on the counter, and it was not this one. That means that Lizzie's getting me a Pez too. But if she's getting me a Pez, I can't get her a Pez, because if we got the same gift, that would be kind of weird. Ugh, I gotta think of something better. This one is so warm. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious cold ice cream. Mmm. Well, we all have our opinion. So you like cold, I don't. I like warm, you don't. And uh, my Valentine definitely. Uh, they they love warm. They it it's their favorite thing ever, which which makes it so it's not you, so I need to go get them a gift. Let's go our separate ways. Maybe I'm not her Valentine. Huh, 
she still is mine, so I gotta find her a gift. <sighs> you are so cute. Too bad Lizzie saw you. <gasps> I have an idea. Maybe, because Lizzie doesn't know you're for her, that I can give you to her and a different gift. I gotta go find one. Be right back. Okay, I have the perfect Valentine for Az. He said he likes cold cookies, so I got him a heart box of Oreos. It's so cute. And it's blue, and it's going with the cool theme I got. The only problem is I've been hiding in my room so he doesn't see it, but I have to go out of my room to get the wrapping. This is the perfect card for Lizzie. And look what it says on the inside. Happy Valentine's Day, Q Pug. <laughs> it's a Valentine's dog. Now the hard part is to go back into the kitchen to get the mug and monkey without Lizzie seeing. Uh, uh, nice, nice card, Az. Oh, uh, you saw a nice ant farm. I'm just kidding. Nice Oreos, Lizzie. Oh, you saw it? It's fine if you saw it. I mean, it's for my Valentine, and you're not my Valentine. I mean, like, I chose blue, but it, I already told you in the kitchen that my Valentine likes warm, you know, not you, of course, not you. Yeah, mine is also for my Valentine, and it's not you. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sure your Valentine will get you a card, and I'm sure mine will, will get me my card, uh, a card for me, and we're done. Yo, uh, done, uh, yeah, bye, uh, done. Ugh, a card, how could I forget a card? That's like the number one gift. Okay, I'm gonna go big or go home. But I'm already home, so I guess I, I'm gonna go big or I'm gonna go back to the store to buy better stuff. Anyways, I have the perfect card. The biggest Valentine's Day card ever. Dear Az, thank you so much for always being there and playing with Legos with me and all the games and thank you so much for being there and helping me and I am so glad that you are my brother. Love, Lizzie. Oh, Lizzie got me a treat, but I didn't get her a treat. That's the number one thing you gotta give on Valentine's Day. Time to go big. Ugh. This is the best gift you can give anybody, unless they don't like chocolate. But who doesn't like chocolate? There is no way Lizzie's gonna get a better Valentine's gift than this. It's a giant Kit Kat bar. I know, I've got the best car, but now I have to go bigger, and I have to get every single cool colored gift I could find. I mean, look at this adorable plate. It says, you make my heart soar, you get it? Dinosaur, he loves dinosaurs. This will make him so happy. This is perfect, but I have one more gift, but I'm saving that for the end. He will never get a better gift than this, ever. I'm the best gift giver ever. Let's go give it to him. I have the biggest candy bar, but I still got the biggest card and the biggest present, cause I gotta go big so she knows that I am the best. I have one last gift, but I'll save that till the end because it's gonna be the best of all gifts. So she's gonna be blown away. As I have something for you. Good, cause I have something for you. Actually, a bit more than something. What? You got me a huge Valentine's Day gift. You got me a huge Valentine's Day gift. Well, I guess we were both trying to give the biggest gift. I guess we both got carried away. Yeah, and we were both 
kind of sneaky about it and lied. Yeah, sorry about that. I just didn't want to ruin the surprise. No, I get it. I get it. I know what you mean. Let's go sit down and open our gifts. All right, here you go. Wait, Lizzie. I was getting you all these big gifts because I wanted to make myself look better. But that is not what Valentine's Day is about. You're right, Az. Valentine's is about caring and showing how much you love each other, not gifts and not how big they are. I agree. I think that we should give all these other gifts to other people to spread the love. But I'm gonna give you this dog Aww. because it's your favorite color. Oh, thank you, Az, it's so cute. I have another gift that I wanna give you too. Your gift is this dragon because that's your favorite mythical creature. It's so amazing and skilly and cute. And I love you. Thanks for the perfect Valentine's Day. And I love you too. Thanks for my awesome dragon. And thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up.